Okay, what's this GPS and glow nuts? Well, you can do that with that button too? Golden fingers go over here. <laughs> At their remote jade mining camp called Wolverine, Claudia and Robin's son, Justin, is teaching Guy the fine art of GPS. This is the claim boundaries. I'm learning how to run a GPS because GPS needs an upgrade. <laughs> Justin is back at Wolverine for the first time since last season, when he proved himself to be a gifted jade prospector. Yeah, it's definitely jade. Oh! He discovered some of the biggest finds of the year. Justin is a damn jade magnet. That's good jade right there. Yeah. <laughs> this season, Justin has his eyes set on a new target, some unstaked claims near King Mountain, just 10 kilometers from camp. I gotta take a look at where the claims are, but there's an open area up there, and I would love it if it's on that little outcrop there. Justin is eager to see what's there before someone else moves in on the claims. So this afternoon, we're gonna go and do some exploration. We're looking at acquiring some more property. We're gonna be looking at the geology in the area, see if there's any potential of hard rock lenses. Hard rock jade is typically hidden deep underground in lenses. You got everything? Yeah. So Justin has brought in his buddy, Chris, a geologist, to help analyze the rock formations in the area. Glad to help out Justin, do some uh, geological mapping. OK, good luck, boys. Justin's the real miner. He loves to mine. He loves to figure things out, hands on, loves that. So I think Justin is just going to do great. Go find some jade. This is going to be the million dollar rock. Yeah, <laughs> Jade makes people do crazy things. That's King Mountain. Nice. Justin Bunce and his geologist friend Chris are searching for an old mining trail that leads to the King Mountain Jade claims. There's an old road that takes us into the King Mountain Valley and hasn't been used in 30, 40 years. So it's gonna be overgrown. 40 years is quite a long time, though. Yeah. No, like spruce grown, like 30 to 40 years, let alone like brush. It has to be in there. Justin found the coordinates for the trail from an old mining map. Like, I wonder if it goes in between those trees there, Chris. We go check it out. We're apparently on it. We are? But. Now we're off it. I don't know where it is, but it's not here. Do a little dance. 15 kilometers away at Bullion Creek, the hunt for jade boulders continues. Excavator operator Gary is working with Josh and Guy, along with William from their new partners company. I don't know much about it yet, so I save all the rocks. That's why you see the lineup of rocks. There. Nope. I don't like the way it chips. They hammer rocks, testing for hardness and a telltale ringing sound. I'm not a pro yet, so we'll just keep trying. Any rock they like, they'll set aside to cut later. Wow. This one we're washing. Yeah, that's a totally different sound, eh? Yeah. It's just night and day. I haven't heard that sound this year yet. Dig a little more? Yeah. What do you hear, Stuart? Chopper's coming in. A chopper is circling overhead. Whenever jade claims come available in northern British Columbia, miners converge to have a closer look. The whole jade field is very busy right now. Claims come up all the time, and people are snatching claims up every day. Yeah, I can hear them. I can see them. It's not too nice today. Sounds like someone's trying to fly through this, though. Justin can hear the helicopter as well. A lot of the properties are getting staked up by computer miners, and they're not actually putting footwork on the hills. Even people online who have never laid eyes on the site can put down money and stake a claim. That must be a fun flight. With competition circling, Justin is under pressure to get to the claims as fast as he can, but they still can't find the trail. You finding any sign of a road? No. I mean, this kind of seems like a road right here. And I can't see it going into this swamp. 
That must be it. Are you not on a road? No. Well, I don't know. It doesn't look like one to me. Go out this way or something. Scope it out. Oh, God, this brush is thick. Me. I don't know where it is. Let's get the hell out of here. Justin and Chris will have to find another way up to King Mountain. There's no point hiking through all this brush. So we're going to head her in for the day and stay nice and warm. See if the old girl will fire up. At Wolverine, Guy and Gary are ready to cut the boulders dug up at Bullion Creek. First up, the boulder that rang like jade under the hammer. I think William's excited to see what the jade will look like from bullion. We don't expect everything to go perfectly. We just hope it goes perfectly. That looks like about 400 RPM. 389. Close enough. <laughs> nope. Huh? Good jade would be like 40 minutes into that part. Is that right? The saw slices through the rock quickly. Better quality is forward cut. That's not good. Gee doesn't even bother finishing the cut. Probably not even jade, or it's really low quality, so. It'd be nice to find jade every day, but things can go either way when you're mining. There is no guarantee. The weather's gotten a little better today. The next morning, Justin's come up with a quick way to get to King Mountain. We're going to get flown across the valley and get dropped off in a bowl. Let's go. We're trying to be competitive with everyone, so if we can score a helicopter, we're going to do it. Excited for this? Oh, yeah. The chopper drops them off near the unstaked claims. Uh, camp's way down there, a couple miles out. That's not a bad view, yeah. Yeah. That's where we were yesterday. If we would have kept hiking left, we would have ended up in that swampy lake. Right. We may as well go over here and see if we can find those lenses. Justin and Chris start examining surface rocks for indicators of jade lenses underneath. So we're up here looking for the host rock, like the right rock types to make jade, which is serpentinite and then like a chert or a similar type rock to that. And right where the two rocks meet is the contact. And that's where a jade is formed. It's that mixing zone is what produces jade. Hmm. What do you think? Nope. Looks like more like greenstone. So, so far, this is not going well. It's just some more slate. That's unfortunate. Not what we want at all. This is definitely the wrong type of rock for jade over here. Uh, and something for sure here. Justin may be zeroing in on his target. He's found a surface rock with the hardness and color of jade. Well, I don't want to say it's jade, but if it's not jade, it is very damn close. Definitely in the right area. Everything is here for jade. It's here somewhere. Just got to find it. Prospectors in helicopters are swarming King Mountain near Wolverine, eager to buy the rights to newly opened jade claims. But Justin's on the mountain, hoping to beat them to it. Justin has to figure out if that claim is any good, because it needs to be staked immediately. Justin, me, you got a copy. Yeah, go ahead. He warns Justin that the choppers are back. Pushes us a little more. We are under the gun. How long do you think it's going to take? I don't know, as long as the heel toe express takes. But there is probably something here. Let's keep going. If Justin finds Jade, he'll need to go online to officially buy the rights to the claim. So where do you want to set this thing up, Ruben? So we need someone to set up a satellite internet connection at camp right away. I don't know yet. Unfortunately, that someone has to be Guy and Robin. Um, 
I'm gonna check out how many feet it can be from the thing. It's really important that we get the internet going so that we can stake these claims that look like they have good jade on them. Magnetic north, x degrees. There's too many words here. Okay, this um, might get complicated. Yeah. Yeah, this morning we got to set up internet for camp. <laughs> See how that goes. There's technology here that is beyond the human capability, I think. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Never done it, but you know, we'll get her done one way or the other. It's not, I don't hear a signal at all. No. Okay, well, we're close enough for now. <laughs> okay, the dish is hooked up. Okay. To what? To the, what's this called, modem? To that thing with wires that come out of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, here's, here's the thing. I don't know what to do with it now. Oh yeah, I'm your man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Robin and I in computers. Uh, is, no, it's not too pretty good. That one's upside down. I check my emails once every three months. Why are we doing this again? And I Google twice a year. Okay, open up your web browser. And what the is that? Computers I'm no good at. I know how to turn them on, shut them off. That's it. Hey, come and open up this web browser. What? We don't have internet, so we can't get on. Well, you have to have internet too. We can't. We're setting up internet. OK, this is your web browser. And the key, enter screen type. What the What? At the key. At the key entry, screen type. Type okay. in. At the key entry. What's it? What the f does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> this was a really? barbecue, really? I'd be fine. <laughs> At the key. No. At the key. <laughs> Back on King Mountain, Justin and Chris have had little success finding any hard rock jade lenses. So far, we found a lot of serpentinite type boulders, but now we're looking for the actual hard rock version of that. I've gone into this issue of licking rocks. <laughs> licking? Yeah. Hey, licking, spitting. How's that like, taste? Like dirt. Tastes like dirt. Fancy that. <laughs> I feel this valley here. Before we write this area off, we're going to go and hike around the top of the ridge there, just to make sure that there isn't any potential here. There's a lot of boulders that are showing potential, but where they came from, we don't know. So we're hoping that it's somewhere up here. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's go higher. Woo! I thought mining was hard. This is tiring. At Wolverine, hooking up the satellite internet was too much for Claudia, Robin, and Guy. Look it, we have help. So they've recruited the youngest crew member. Right, we have help. To get Justin's laptop online. What's the password? I don't know. That's probably Dodge. Yeah. Try Challenger. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope. nope. Oh, yeah, this thing never existed for most of my dad and Guy's generation. So this is what it feels like when you're breaking into somebody's laptop? Yes. Yeah, this it's actually hack. fun. Look, we just did it. <laughs> I'm a hacker. Hackers. Techie Guy slash hacker. Holy sh Key entry screen. Woo! Okay, at the key. I got I got this. Bam. B2M5. We did it! Techie Guy slash hacker. Just call Techie Guy. Computer hacker. It's extraordinary. Okay, internet's done, sent, email's good to go, and you're connected. Tastes like Jade. 10 kilometers away, Justin and Chris have reached the top of King Mountain. Now it's up to them to see if it's worth getting online and buying the rights to some claims here. So from where we're standing, basically straight ahead, below that cliff band there, Justin suspects there are jade lenses in the cliffs above the lake. We would, of course, like to find a jade lens. All the signs are here on the way in here. All right. Find some jade. Sweet. We're going to head over to that uh, gravel shale slope over there and see what we got. Don't fall. <laughs> We're looking by the river because the water would have cut through the bedrock, which gives you a better idea of what's down below. Mother Nature's cutting tool. No. How's it going? Not very much serpentine. Take a look. 
No. Yeah. You get this from Bedrock, or? Yeah. I don't think there's anything over there but scenery. Oh, f me. At Wolverine, R2 continues to cut boulders from the Bullion Creek claim. Garbage. One of the worst rocks so far, unfortunately. Not so cool? No. It worries me that we don't find Jade every day, but I know that it doesn't happen that way. The next one I have on the hook looks like our best one. I hope the partners don't expect us to find Jade every day, but we don't know what they're expecting and what they're thinking, really, honestly. Not bad. Cutting really slow. Yeah, we'll see you very shortly. At the top of King Mountain, Justin and Chris aren't having much luck either. Uh... A lot of one of the host rocks, but not uh, enough of the serpentinite. So, not too sure. If it is here, it's probably down below everything. I don't think we're gonna find anything in this claim. If there's any jade here, it's deep under the surface. Yeah, it's all beneath us, all in the lake. The jade's either quite a ways down below us, underneath this layer of rock, otherwise it's in the lake, which either way doesn't really do anything for us. We gotta wait another million years so this lake's no longer here. It didn't take that long. <laughs> we had half a million. <laughs> All right, 500,000. <laughs> longer than I got left on this earth, that's for damn sure. Bit of a dud for anything that we could do in the near future. King Mountain's keeping our jade here. I think that'll be okay. Back at the saw, R2 is finished cutting the last of the day's boulders from Bullion Creek. Nothing green about that. So that's garbage. Claudia's worried about keeping her new partners on side. It's very disappointing. I'm sure it's disappointing for them as it is disappointing for us. All right. Next. Communicating with them. Checking us out for the last two, three weeks. She's concerned William could tell his company to bail. I don't think um, he's very happy. Am I looking forward to this walkout? <laughs> Not really, but I mean, at least it's all downhill. It's been an unsuccessful day prospecting, and Justin and Chris have a 10-kilometer hike back to camp. Ready to go laying down in bed and rest the old feet. Uh, whoa. Take a look at this. Very free and interesting here. The exposed rock and clay here resembles the terrain at the Bunce's Hard Rock Jade claim called Dynasty. Okay. Yeah, this is like on the top of the lenses in Dynasty, like the, the white. This white clay material is a, a really good sign that there's jade within the vicinity of this area. Serpentine. This is nice. Nice to have a friggin' shovel. Wow, just keeps on going. All well, the bedrock's there. And then you got your slate there. So within this three feet section, there's really good chance. A very good chance of there being a jade lens here. All the signs are here. I'd say we found something for sure here. On the way back down from King Mountain, Justin and Chris have stumbled upon signs of a jade lens in the hard rock. Do you want to take a look at the GPS and see where we're at? And we kind of get an outline of this zone here. 155 meters away from that. So that's, we're in the unstaked area. This is open. Mm -hmm. What's the time we got going on here? It's 8 o'clock, man. Let's, let's just mark it. And we got a rough idea on where this bad boy is. 
Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't so late, I'd love to stay here and dig it, but this has been here millions of years. It's not going anywhere overnight. But with other prospectors buzzing around, Justin has to be careful with his new find. I don't want this area to be visible from the air. You want to cover it up a little bit? The white shows up pretty good from the air, so a little less visible from anyone who might be in the same area looking for the same kind of rocks. It's There's something there for sure. Well, I need to get a hold of the old man and get him to stake this. Justin doesn't want to tip off any other miners. They could be listening to everything we're saying. I'm calling you on the landline. Okie dokie. Hello? It's in the six cells that are open, so can you get on the MTO and stake those? Stake those six. Okay. Sometimes you only have one minute because you got to do it on the computer. Right there. When they come up, you really are fighting with other people for them. Robin. Okay, I got it. Claims cost thousands of dollars a year to buy and maintain, but now that they know there's jade, they rush to stake it. Right there. Got it. Done. Justin, walking all these claims and finding new lenses is huge because the family needs to be able to think in the future. We've been doing this a long time, but to have new lenses, new areas to mine, it's important, especially on days when we're not finding anything. It gives us hope. Next time on Jade Fever. It's just huge. That has been there since the 80s. Now that's a boulder. You're looking at 40 tons here. jing a -ling. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> High potential of jade on that property? Where it is, I don't know. Nothing. Not even close. I've had butter in the kitchen that was harder than this. There's no jade. So what do you want to do? 